Juggernaut should be good here. I can go for a Silver Edge build against PA's 50% evasion. Um, with spin, I can stop the Kunkka combo. X mark into torrent combo, I can completely remove it with spin. Later on, Juggernaut, Manta, Diffusal Blade build. The Diffusal Blade is good against Necro, because it can purge the Ghost form that he cannot be attacked. And before I can purge it in Ghost form, he can't be attacked, but he takes more magical damage, so that means with spin I deal more damage. So overall, Jug should be... Uh, decent against their heroes. Even if it's not Silver Edge, even if I don't go Silver Edge, MKB. Jug is a decent MKB carrier. And uh, MKB can be good against PA as well. But I think I would prefer um, Manta into Diffusal into Silver Edge as fast as possible. Or Manta into Silver Edge and then Diffusal. Something like that. Who's off lane? Necrofoes? Necrofoes? Maybe plus one. Maybe a dual lane. Necrofoes and Kunkka or Necrofoes and Ancient Apparition. But it makes more sense if Ancient Apparition with, is with PA. If they dual lane against me... That means they will dual lane against the Timber, and Timber should be able to destroy them in a dual lane. Because Timber destroys PA. Timber is strong against PA. Um, so if they, if they dual lane top, that means they are also going to dual lane bottom. And if they dual lane bottom, Timber is going to have an easier lane. If they try lane bottom, then I'm going to have an easier lane, because solo necro can't really... Can't really stop me, right? Pink, pink. Assuming pink. I'm come, going come to have a it. support. Assuming I'm going to have some kind of support. Fast, go fast, go fast. If you come, we kill. If you come, we kill. Come fast, come fast. Okay. I come. 30 seconds to battle. I come. Wait I come. up Illa, wait up Illa. You go after me. We're waiting, we're waiting, we don't go. We don't go yet. We're just waiting upstairs. Wow. Wow. I'm definitely okay with that move. As a juggernaut, I'm okay with that move. Jug has a huge killing potential early with spin. If I was a Spectre, I would... If I was a Spectre, I would be like, uh, you guys have fun. But Jug has huge kill potential early, so why not... If I was another hero, I would be like, okay, you guys go do that, and I would just go to my lane. Huh. <laughs> See you later. Can't really. Please don't die. Earth Spirit is coming. 
with our spirit we should be able to kill him. Can we go? Badge, go. Nice. go, 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 go now, go now. Tower! I A clicked a teammate like three times. <laughs> Tower refuses to switch aggro. Tower simply just refuses to switch aggro. What? I should have used the clarity right away, right after the kill. Now he may come back and right click me and cancel the clarity. But he's jungling it seems. Okay, that's good. That's very nice. So for that kill I used myself and I used half of my tangos. But it was worth it because we forced him to jungle. And now they are going after him. So he's dead again. It was totally worth it because now I'm free farming the lane. Good job, Pedro. Good job. I need to pull the creeps to my range creep. I need this range creep to die. Never mind. This lane is going to push. Your bottom tower is under attack. We wait. We wait. I don't know what's going on with the last hitting now. Back, we get it back, we get it back, it's fine. Make a pull in time. Yep. Change my group too. So I can Check select my bottom. healing ward. Ancient operation is here. And necro. Hey, let me Zabunchi, let me Zabunchi, please. I'll go, I'll go on if you, if it's okay for you. Give me that ring of Aquila first. Some stats. Some stats and a bit of mana region. Should have denied this uh, this range creep. Level three spin. Can I have the courier, please? I'm been I've been trying to use the courier for. Someone keeps sending up? it back. I'm not sure. You have spin. Go, go. Come back soon or Oh the crit Oops of discipline The crit sometimes help fucks up your last hits instead of helping you yeah? fucks up your last hits 
I'm go pushing middle, here. Want to go middle? Pushing here so I can go for Let a pull. Go fast. Go fast, please. Pull at 53. Stuck again. Juggernaut is good at taking stacks. Level 4 spin, I can take the entire stack. One spin plus one healing ward and the stack should be dead. Should be careful because at the same time Necro is also good at taking stacks with his uh, death balls. Go Manta first. Another stack. Four times stack now. I'm gonna need a clarity potion. Should probably wait level 8 for level 2 healing ward. Level 1 healing ward won't heal me enough. What if I die to creeps? <laughs> that would be awful. Gotta get the uh, bounty rune for more experience. I'll take that as tribute. Some more experience and some more gold. This guy is level 5 still, his, his death, death pulse is level 3, it's not strong. I should heal right now. Can you put on me please? I have a clarity up, so... Help me with a stun to kill the stack. You also get experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm warding. Okay. Okay, let's go for it. Damn! Get back, get back, get back. Holy shit. One more spin. Actually, I thought one spin is going to be enough, but okay. I'm back in LTP to a few times. So I almost got my Yasha. Minute 12, I should have my Yasha. Earth Spirit got his level 6 now. That means the Tome can be for the other support, for Pudge, that is not level 6 yet. Be careful, wait for me, wait for me, mate. But Pudge is level 4. I don't know why is he such low level still, but okay. Necropose here. We don't care. I need 10 mana if you want to kill this guy. Oh shit, Tinker hasted. Tinker hasted. Top lane. What? Just run now. Huh. He was... He was really trying to kill me there, damn. Meanwhile, team is diving tier 2 bottom. 
Kappa. They got him though. Tinker has no troubles yet. Wanna defend this tower. Not yet. let Tinker deal any damage to it. We can spin the creep wave. They have a lot of nuke damage, so health is good talent here. What have we here? Jack can pop me again. We can kill top, you say? Ah, uh, we cannot kill top. Not yet. It is not time. Timber went too deep alone by himself. Need to push top instead. The enemy's middle tower has been denied. Give me the skeletons. Skeletons. Thanks. Your bottom tower is under attack. Okay, we took the top tower. <laughs> top tower and two kills for a buyback. We may even get another kill. I can't really this guy. I'll take that as tribute. Should get another clarity. I'm gonna push another wave here. I hope I force more people to come here and defend the tower. Space. Space. I think I'm gonna TP here middle, use the sh like push out the wave, use the shrine. Use the shrine to get full mana. And then we go use my Omni slash on somebody. Okay, that works too, I guess. Or maybe we push mid already? Already pushing us five. He is one one two. My healing ward, keeping my healing ward alive. Ok, 
Okay, let's not do that. Yeah, let's not do that. Tinker is a crazy hero. Tinker can be everywhere. He goes base, he regions, he rearms the travels, and he's back in action. I should really be pushing out bot lane, not hitting neutrals. Lane creeps give more gold. And just pushing lanes is much better for, for the team in general. Always pushing a lane. If it's safe to push out a lane, always pushing the lane is much better than pushing than uh, killing neutrals. Again. Your top tower is under attack. Why is this guy so quiet? This guy is very quiet. <laughs> Tinker may TP knowing that spin is on cooldown. But then I have Manta if he lasers me, I can still remove the laser. Your middle tower is under attack. Holy... Holy shit. I'm actually still alive. That was a debate right there. That was a huge debate. They went on me with everything. And they got destroyed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Necro was gonna ult me. But on his way, uh, like, Necro on his way to ult me, he got uh, disabled by my team and just killed. He really wants to ult me. Like, he really, really wants to ult me. Alright then. I'm a juggernaut. I don't care. Told you in the beginning of the game. Told you in the beginning of the game that spin this game is gonna be huge. Spin this game is gonna do a lot. Give me some clarities. Put up some mana region. Oh yeah, I'm on my way, but... On level 15 I went for the 20 attack speed talent. If going Manta, I, I like a lot the attack speed. If I go Manta because the illusions also benefit from the attack speed. 
The armor is great if it's really needed. In this game, it's good only against one hero. Like from other good Juggernaut players, I heard that uh, they go like level 10 and 15 talents. One talent is like defensive and the other talent is offensive. Like if you go defensive on level 10, which is health instead of damage, then at level 15 it can be attack speed instead of the armor. But if you go for the damage on 10, then on level 15 plus 7 armor. It really depends on what the enemies have. If you look at the enemy lineup right now, they have a lot of... Um... Are we smoking? Uh, the enemies have a lot of... Um... Magical damage nukes So the health is really good against that on level 10 I took health and then they only have one right clicker only PA as a right clicker So the armor can be good against PA, but it's not good at all against any other hero other than PA so just take the what have we here? Level 10 take the defensive and then level 15 take the, take the, the attack speed attack. offensive talent If enemies had like a Shadow Fiend middle instead of Tinker, Shadow Fiend and PA are two like pure right click cores. And the 7 armor is a must against Shadow Fiend and PA. But when it's only a PA right clicker, the rest of them are magical damage nukers. Go for, uh, go for other things. I don't know how does the courier keep getting re reused like that. Okay. Dyer's courier has been killed. I can go silver edge next if I want to. Yep, Timber is not here. If Timber is not here, we should probably chill. Blink Dagger can also be decent in this game, but Silver Edge is also nice. PA has Desolator, but that's it. I have more farm than PA for sure. Yep. That was a nice hook. He couldn't dismember right away, and BA almost escaped, but we got him. That was a nice hook though, still. Not yet. Not yet. So the Necrofoss has Shadow Blade, yeah. Take this now. The enemy's top oh, nice, Pogna. That was really good. Woo! That didn't hit me. Roche is 
Roche is a hundred percent the choice right now. It is not a time. High ground pushing against them is hard. It's fine, don't waste turn. I can use healing ward. Who take it, Pogna? Oh damn. Wait, he just killed my healing ward. Rose just killed my healing ward. We should really go back. We should really finish it, guys. It's low. Timber, can you tank it, man? use the shrine after no one else wants it I will take it I can scout Shadow Blade, but they know. I doubt that anyone will be here. I'll take that as tribute. Tinker was bottom. Should we try to split push this? Pushing one lane. Pushing one lane, I don't know. Yeah, seems hard. Your top tower is under attack. I'm gonna push out mid. Your top tower is under attack. Maybe we could try split pushing. That's a stinker? For you? Yeah, they can. With their heroes, they can defend one lane at a time. They can't defend all three lanes. Was used. Your top tower is under attack. Just... Your top tower is under attack. Range. Okay, 
Okay, I'm the only one that can focus buildings. I'm the hero with the most building damage. Well, Pugna is as well, but... Oh, well, split pushing worked. I told you. Their heroes have really good spells, like when they are together. When they are as 5, they are unstoppable. But if we split push them, what's, what's Tinker gonna do alone? Can't kill me. What's PA gonna do alone? Can't kill me. None of them can kill me alone. But if they are all as 5 together, we die very easily. Necrofoes, he can barely kill a hero alone, he needs damage from his teammates, so he can get a good ultimate of They are really good when they are together, but as long as they, when they get split pushed, they get wrecked. DGC Rad Dotto did it. Very well played to the team. Net worth. Two times the net worth on PA. <laughs> 300 last hits almost. 34 minute game. Close to 13k building damage. Not much hero damage this game, but I don't have to. Game didn't require me to kill enemies. If the game kept going later, I would have I would get a lot more um, a lot more hero damage because I just reached the point where I can go for a lot of kills. The silver edge manta defusal. I can go for a lot of kills now. Until now I was mostly focused on farming, split pushing. But even then... GG